Okay, dear friends, I'm back with another machine on the track me, which is better lock. I've already spawned the machine earlier, and this is the IP address of the machine. As always, I'd like to use the Kali Linux, which is running inside the VMware to do this operation. Before we start today's journey, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. Yeah, I've already made a copy of this IP address onto my notebook. So, so then afterwards, we can use this information directly from my notebook because I cannot remember. Yeah, you know, the, the, it's difficult to remember anyway. So as you can see, maybe I can make the terminal to be bigger so you can see what's going on. I've already done the M map scanning, as you can see, with the op UU options like, um, yeah, the sync scan, the version scan, and the default script scan. And I use the option of dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan or full range port scan. So from the, of course, the IP address is different from the, from the one I did the machine the first time earlier. As you can see, from the map scanning, we can know that the target has uh, several open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface. And also the version information. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. The second one is 80, which is running HTTP surface. And also the corresponding information, which is NGX. And uh, also, yeah, here, yeah, tells us yeah we will not uh, direct to this yeah to another port number, and uh, which is forty forty, and forty forty is running HTTPS surface. And uh, there's some information, of course. Later we can use the browser to take a look at it. Okay, and the last not the last one, the next one is nine thousand and nine. I think this must be custom surface, yeah, what we are looking for. So next, maybe we can use the Netcat or Telnet to connect to, and so that we can yeah, emulate this, yeah, this surface. And the last one is a four five four three two one, which is running HTTPS as well. So what we are going to do next? Yeah, we need to do immigration one by one. Yeah, first the port number 80, and we can launch our browser and put the IP address of the target. Copy. Paste in here. As you can see, yeah, the browser has been automatically redirect to the 4040 port number and which is running SSL, SSL and the potential of course we can accept the risk and continue here yeah we are told some information like um, broadcasting we are in the process of building <coughs> sorry can you believe this technology exists in bedlock? A bunny is helping, maybe this is the user, right? Possible user name. We can note it down onto our notebook in case we need that, this information later. And it's helping to set up the server. He said that this info was important. Okay. Hi, it's a bunny. I only figured out. Yeah, injects so far what the hell is database. Try to set up SQL database, but I don't see it running. Looks like it started something else, but I'm not sure how to turn it off. He said it was from the toilet and over 9,000. And we need to try and secure connection with certificates. So maybe, yeah, we need to use the certificate to connect to. 
All right, and uh, also as usual, we can check the source code of of this page, which doesn't reveal anything interesting. And also, we can check use the or to access robots file. However, yeah, this file robots file not found. However, from the error, we can yeah. I think this needs some important information. Maybe later we can use use this information. We can note it down. Yeah, this should be the root directory of our web application. So what we are going to do next? Maybe we can use Ligato to do some emulation, and uh, we can put the IP address. Oh, sorry, not this one. We can copy the IP address of the target from my notebook. And the port number is forty forty. Let's press enter to see whether we can find out some some something interesting or weird. However, yeah, we cannot get such information to save time. I'd like to interrupt it here. Okay. Also, we can use the GoBuster to do the directory emulation or brute forcing GoBuster. And the port number, and、uh, we can specify the word list. As always, I'd like to use the dear buster word list. And the option extension option. Something like this. Your error, you cannot validate certificates, so we can use the option of the K. I. I I if I remember, well, yeah, we can use this K option to mean to 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 not valid validate the certificate of the target or sent of the from the target. Yeah, I think we cannot get anything interesting. I mean, the directory or files from the GoBuster. Again, I don't want. The videos to be yeah to be long, so I'd like to quit from here. And next, maybe we can yeah as we can cut out the a maps results. Yeah, this one is also the HTTPS surface, and this one must be some yeah custom surface. So maybe we can take a look at this HTTPS surface first. And、uh, we can put HTTPS, the port number, and the port number is this. Press enter. Yeah, it's not authorized for access. So if we go back to the home page of this site, or or, or I mean in the default port number. It's telling us, yeah, we need to try and secure connection with certificates. So I think next we need to get a certificate to access, yeah, to access this surface. But、uh, where to get? And、uh, I think there is one remaining surface we didn't,、uh, yeah, do anything. Yeah, this one, which is running over the port number nine thousand and nine. Because this is, we cannot use the browser. Maybe we can use another cat to connect to. Press enter. Yeah, what we are looking for? Yeah, very weird or interesting. For example, I just、uh, input JSON. Yeah, sorry, unrecognized request. It means that、uh, yeah, the the server, I mean, running at the background will read the input, our input. And try to analyze the the, the 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 input or request, because the JSON, yeah, the the server or the background cannot recognize, so that can give us the this yeah information. Also followed by another instruction, you use this service to recover your client certificate and private key. So maybe we can put the like a certificate. As you can see, we successfully get the certificate, 
and also we can get the key. But how to yeah how to use the certificate and、uh, private key to make a collection? At this moment, we do not know. Or we can use the we can input the help, so that you know, yeah, try collecting using this command. So we can copy, yeah, this entire command, and、uh, we can paste in here. Of course, we need. Oh, sorry, I need to create the or copy the certificate first, and、uh, we can copy the certificate here. And the name is cert, right? And the quit, and also we can create the key, private key, and we can copy this private key. And then we can insert and paste in here, and right and quit. Okay, so now we have already got the certificate and the key, and then I think we can use the so cat to connect to right, connect to the surface, and how to use? We just copy this command, entirely. Oh, sorry, not this one. Yeah, I think we can copy and、uh, paste in here, and we need to do some modification. The machine IP, of course, we need to change that. We can copy the IP address of a target. Put it in here, and the third file is third. And the key. Press enter. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, we have already got the access to the target, which is not、um, normal shell. Welcome, yeah, this yeah this surface or this user Bali is authorized. But we can run the command like ID, cannot. Yeah, this unrecognized command ID, this surface is is for login and password hints. So maybe we can put it like、uh, locking. Yeah, locking is disabled, and we can put the password. As you can see, we got the password, and the username should be the Bali, okay? And we can copy the password, and this should be the username. So then now we can maybe we can open up a new tab. And、uh, we can make the terminal to be bigger, and we can use SSH Bali, and followed by the IP address of the target, and we of course we can continue connecting and copy the password. Yeah, as you can see, we are successfully logging as the user Bunny, which is so wonderful. And we can yeah list the files in the home directory. We can cut out the Bunny, and we got the first flag. I think so. And also there is a hash logging. So what it's about? Hash logging. Yeah, nothing. And also, we can know from yeah from the file size. We know that this is the empty file. So now we maybe we need to yeah make more local emulation, and we can go to the another user's home directory. And、uh, can we navigate into the SSH? Yeah, permission denied, and we can get the thread. Txt permission denied. So how to do? Yeah, we need to make a lateral movement、uh, to the another user thread. Maybe we can run sudo. Yeah, we need to check that. 
and we need to copy the password of this user, the current user. Yeah, user Bunny may run the following commands on this. Yeah, on this machine, the set util without supplying the password of the root user. Okay, so how to do? You know, we can use the sudo and the cert util. Can we get the help function? Yeah, we we can use can show current search. Okay, sudo cert util. We can use the else command. Yeah, we as you can see, we got some. I think this should be the. The PM. I think this we can read the certificate and key information from, yeah, from this file. So how to do it? We can use sudo. Cert util. And with the option A, fret CSR PM PM. As you can see, we got the certificate and the private key. So I think next we can create the certificates and the key for the user Fred, and use the same way to, to 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 got the another access right. So we can copy the certificate, and we can open up an, another tab. Vim Fred cert, and write and quit. And then we can get the private key of the user, Fred. Copy. And Fred key. Okay. And then we can use the same command. Yeah, this one we can copy and paste in here. And the IP address, of course, should be changed to the target machine. And also, we need to replace the certificate file fret cert and the fret key. Press enter. As you can see, we got another access. Yeah, this user is authorized. Also, we can use the same way to get the password for this user. Okay, and uh, we can copy the password. All right, and uh, maybe we just switch. So this one, yeah, this one, we can switch. We we do not need to uh, sorry. We can switch. We do not need to launch a new collection or session. We just use the su command to change the shell to the fret, and uh, we can copy or paste the password of this user. As you can see, we are successfully yeah logging as or switched as the user fret, and we can get the fret. I think this should be the second flag. So what we are going to do next, yeah, is to escalate our privilege to root user. Yeah, similarly, we can use the sudo command with L option to check whether the current user Fred can run the sudo. Press enter. As you can see, we yeah we can run this command without supplying of supply without supplying the password of the user. Loot user. Okay, we can maybe we can run this one. We can sudo and just uh, copy the entire command because I don't want to type in yeah every letter. As you can see, we got the some information or message. It looks like this is encoded in base sixty four. So now I think of course we can use the command. However, subchef is wonderful. We can go to the Subchef website.
we can paste in here and we can select the operating operations base 64 yeah from the pattern of the of the data however uh, this should be the result or the output is encoded again and you can try different operations for example this one yeah it's work we got another output however this is maybe is encoded again by another operation yeah you can try for example yeah this one this doesn't work so can we move and we can select the next one which doesn't work either next one cannot work 32 not working 64 yeah as you can see we got the final output and this looks like this is some sort of the md file hash value we can copy and go to the crack station of course you also, you also can use the can also use the like um, hashcat or john reaper however the crack station is very convenient for the normal decryption and we can paste in here yeah of course i'm not robot yeah i need to select the bicycle next yeah motorcycle crack hashes as you can see we got the result yeah this should be the password for the looter user we can copy and go back to our Linux, and then we can switch our show to the looter user and uh, paste the password here as you can see it works so now we can get navigate to loot directory and then we can cut out the loot flag without any issue Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.